So this is the Cobra Mowbot and everything you need to mow your lawn is inside this box. So let's open it up and see what we've got. In the box, you'll find the robotic mower. You'll find the base station with all the fixing nails, the charger and the mains cable. There's the green boundary wire, which is 200 meters long and the pegs to hold it in position and the all important owner's manual. And don't forget before you throw away the box to pop these out. These are the rulers to help you put the guide wires in the correct distance from the edge of the lawn. So before you install the Mobot, what we need to do is to make sure the grass is all cut firstly to get it to the height that we need it to be. And then we can start planning the wiring. And it's a good idea just to sketch the garden, just to put the beds and the borders in and any obstacles or trees that are in the lawn. The base station should be somewhere shady and that needs to be on the perimeter. So we're going to start with the base station there and it doesn't want to be in full sun. And then we're going to draw the wire in on an anti-clockwise direction. So it's going to follow the borders around. Now where you've got a tree or any obstacle in the lawn, we obviously want the mower to mow around that. So we've got to take a wire to it and then circle around there and bring it back down. And then we can pick up again and follow the beds and the borders or the boundary of the lawn round, following it all the way around like this. And we're going to position the wires 30 centimetres in from the edge of the lawns and any path. And then when we get to an island bed, such as this one here, in front of me, again, we have to draw the wire in and take it all the way round so that the mower doesn't go into the plants. Back to the perimeter and then follow the borders or the paths round and it will end back at the charging station just there. So we've got basically a ring main all the way round the lawn. So it just gives us a plan to work to, to make life a little bit easier. So now we've got the plan of the wiring, we can start with the charging station. This is where the mower comes back to recharge its batteries when it runs low. So it goes somewhere nice and shady and it's in part of the circuit of the green wire that we're gonna lay down in the ground. So it needs to be positioned along the edge with our 30 centimetre there. And if we look closely at the charging station, we can see this is the direction that the mower will enter to plug in. And the cable will go underneath the charging station and then connect into here. So we've got one wire in, one wire out. So it's really simple. That goes there. We're not gonna fasten it down at this stage. We're gonna wait until everything's in place and then we can make it secure. And we've got the mains lead here that connects into the socket so we've got plenty of cable there so we can route it across to a house or a building where you've got mains electricity. So what we need to do now is get the wire out and start laying it around the garden. So now we can start putting the perimeter wire in the green wire uh, which comes in this box here and we're not going to connect anything into the charging unit just yet until we've got it all in just for safety. So what we're going to do to make sure we've got a bit of spare wire for adjustments and room to connect in I'm going to leave a bit of spare wire there and then using our 30 centimetre gauge from the edge of the lawn, we can put in our first of the plastic pegs. And they can be knocked into the ground and just use a, a mallet or something just to knock them in like that. Don't worry about knocking them all the way in at this stage. Leave them just proud so you've got a little bit of adjustment until you've got the wires where you need them. And then it's just a case of moving the box along to pull out the wire. And we're going to put a peg in about once every metre, 30 centimetres in, all the way around the perimeter of the lawn. Now, if you've got trees or flower beds in the garden, we need to make sure there's a loop of wire around them to make sure that the mower doesn't go into the soil and, and get stuck. If you've got permanent things in the garden, like big trees or flower pots, then you don't need to worry because the mower will simply touch them, reverse, change direction without doing any harm. But this tree here, where we've got this circle of soil around it, we need to do something with that. So what we're gonna do, is from the boundary wire, we're gonna take a wire across the lawn 
loop it round the circle there and then bring it back down and continue around. So it's really simple to do. So we're just going to pull some of this wire out. If you pull it out loose to start with, and then we can sort it all out with the clips. So start in here, we can take the wire and I'm going to put a peg in just there, just loosely, just to hold it. And then we can put another one in just here, using our guide again. So we can put one in there. And then what we've got to do is to then make a loop all the way around the tree or the bed, keeping that distance all the way round. So you're going to need a few more pegs in this to be able to get the curve. And I'm only just putting them in very loosely to start with, just to get the shape. So once I've got my loop in around the tree or the flower bed or whatever it is, and you're happy with it, we can then just knock them in a little bit more because we need to get a little bit of tension all the way around for here. And just take that one in just a little bit more. And then we can put a peg in just here. And what we're gonna do is return this down now back down to the boundary wire. So knock that one in. And we want to run these as close as we can together. Where you've got a peg midway, we can just hook it underneath it. And with the tension, it keeps them nice and parallel so they don't cross over. And then that one can hook around that peg there and just knock that down. So there we have it now. We've got a pair of parallel wires that aren't crossing over each other. And the mower knows that when it gets to a single wire, it will stop and turn around and mow in a different direction. But where we've got these wires close together in parallel, it will just mow over them as normal. So all we do now is tension that and off we go round the rest of the boundary. So once you've finished pegging it out and we've done a complete circuit, we can then start and connect the wires. So what I'm going to do is to just take the wire beyond the back of the charger and we want some spare there just so we've got a little bit to play with. So cut the wire and that is finished with that now. So that can go back in the box and we can put that away. We can use that if we need to extend the area or we change the layout of the lawn, if ever you move. So we've finished with the wire there so that can be put away and now we need to start connecting these wires into the charging unit and it's really simple to do just tilt the charger up and we're going to feed this wire underneath and at the back there are two small holes so it's easier I find just thread the wire through first so that one through there and then out of the back and that's the end that will connect and then it's simply a case of looping the wire into these little lugs on the underside. It rides up inside this channel, so keeps it nice and secure like that. And that just pushes into there. You can just tighten it a little bit if you need to. Lie that down. So we've got this spare wire. We don't need all of that, so we can trim it to size. Now, don't worry at this stage if you make a mistake because the wires can be fixed together. There are small clips that you can get. So it's easily solved. So I just need about maybe 15 centimeters there so that I've got a little bit of wire to work with. So I'm gonna cut that one. And likewise with this one, it goes to there. So another 15 centimeters off. So again, they're spare. And then wire clippers are needed because we need to expose the wire underneath the plastic. So it's just a case, you want about 10 to 15 millimeters of wire exposed. Just pull that off twist them together and then 
so, so simple to connect. Once we've trimmed there, it does tell us that the cable that we've fed underneath goes into the red connection. So we just push the little lever down, push that in firmly, and then that clips back and that's holding that nice and firmly in place. And then we do the same with the other wire, which is gonna go into the black one. So again, we're just gonna use our wire strippers there and just take off the wire there, twist it round like that. If it's a bit long, you can always bend the end over and then just push the lever down and then just push that into position so it goes all the way to the back and again it's nice and firm. So when we've connected both wires we've now completed the circuit around the lawn so we can plug it into the mains power to check it and everything's okay we'll get a permanent green light on the charging station there. Once that's working we can then go around and check the wires to make sure they're tight in all places and we can knock the pegs down to ground level. And don't worry that the wire is exposed because the grass will quickly grow through that and the mower will cut just above it. Once that's all working then we can knock pegs in to secure the base unit and we're ready to start mowing. So we've got a solid green light which is great, it tells us everything is working okay so all I need to do now is go around the wire and make sure all the pegs are knocked in flush to the surface of the lawn. So this is the mower, so just to give it a bit of an overview, if we lift it up we can see the blades are underneath, three small steel blades that spin round very quickly, very sharp and these are really easy to change with just a screwdriver and to alter the height of cut this flap here lifts up and we have a dial here and we can adjust it from 20 millimetres in 5 millimetre stages round to 60 millimetres and we do that by just twisting this lever and we can see that the mowing bed there goes up and down. So very, very easy to adjust. And then we can then start the mower and test him to make sure he goes into the charging station. So under the back of the mower, just here, there's a small button underneath. We just push that in and then we leave him on while we want to use him. And then all the controls are under this flap just here. First thing we do is to turn on the power switch there and the screen will come to life and the mower comes with a preset pin number which is one, two, three, four and that can very easily be altered in the settings to your own personal pin number and once we're in it gives us all the different options for when he mows, the timing so you have complete control over the mower and when he's mowing out in the garden. So to test this to make sure he goes into the charging station all we do is to push the house logo there and then close the lid and the mower will start. And we can tell that the mower is charging because we can see the red light on the charging unit. So we've done the test and the mobot is docking in the charging station without any problems. So all I need to do now is peg the base down. So we're gonna take it out. For safety, it's always a good idea to turn the power off with the switch underneath at the back and then we can peg it down. Some big strong pegs for this to hold it nice and securely and they want to be knocked all the way into the ground, all the way round. And then there's also a bumper bar if you want to fit that, that fits on there and it just prevents the Mobot going into the borders or anything. So it's located through the holes there and that's really nice and secure. And finally, the last thing is to make sure everything is set up. So we've got the date, the time, the mowing days, the mowing times, and so that it's all ready to mow. And remember, everything can also be controlled via an app to make mowing really easy. So all the details for setting up and using your mobot are in the manual that's provided with it.
if you need to stop the mower quickly, the button on the back which says stop, stops the mowing immediately. And then to start mowing, just open the flap, put in the pin number, start, and away we go again.